Hello friends, today, we are going to explore GNOME 41, a stable release from the world's leading open source project. In this video, we will go through the salient features of GNOME 41 using the Fedora 35 pre-release. If you remember, GNOME 40 introduced a new power mode setting. This allows switching between three power modes, which affect both performance and power consumption. GNOME 41 takes the power modes into the next level, and it can now be quickly changed from the system status menu. Also, the power saver mode has been updated to save more power by dimming the screen earlier. GNOME software has received a refresh in GNOME 41 which expects to make the user experience much better. The updated explore view makes it easier to browse and discover apps, with descriptions of each app and more attractive tiles. A new set of categories helps with browsing and exploring available apps. Details pages have a new design, with bigger screenshots and new information tiles, which provide a better overview of each application. GNOME 41 introduces a new multitasking settings panel, which includes window management and workspace options. With this settings panel, we can Disable the activities hot corner Disable active screen edges Configure a fixed number of workspaces Show workspaces on all displays, instead of just the primary display Restrict app switching to the current workspace, when using the Super Plus Tab keyboard shortcut GNOME 41 introduces Connections, a new remote desktop client. This provides a modern, easy-to-use experience for connecting to other desktops, and automatically handles as much of the complexity for you as possible. VNC and RDP connections are both supported. GNOME 41 introduces a new mobile network settings panel. This allows configuring mobile network connections, and works with 2G, 3G, 4G, and GSM slash LTE modems. The new mobile network settings are only shown when a supported modem is present. The GNOME Music has received a UI update in GNOME 41. The artwork is now larger and has rounded corners, the artist list includes images, a new album view includes a handy play button, and the redesigned player bar is more spacious. Music also has new welcome artwork. GNOME 41 has also received several other UI refreshments, and performance improvements. For further reading, you may check out the GNOME 41 release notes on the project's website. So, we are signing off for now. We'll see you with another video.